Let's make a histogram and frequency polygon using the set of data. The data represent the ages of 40 women with the each had a boyfriend. Using the group frequency distribution, construct a histogram. To make a histogram, we need the class boundaries and the frequency. Let's add a column for the class boundaries. If the data values are whole numbers, we can easily find the class boundaries by subtracting 0.5 from the lower class limits and adding 0.5 to the upper class limits. Okay, let's draw a histogram. 1. Draw a horizontal line and a vertical line. 2. Place evenly spaced marks. 3. Label the mark so that the scale is clear. 4. Give a name to the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. 5. Draw a bar for each class. The height of each bar should correspond to the frequency of the class. From 12.5 to 15.5, the frequency is 3. From 15.5 to 18.5, the frequency is 11. From 18.5 to 21.5, the frequency is 14. From 21.5 to 24.5, the frequency is 7. From 24.5 to 27.5, the frequency is 5. This is the histogram for the ages of 40 women when they each had their first boyfriend. What is a histogram? A histogram is a graph that displays the data by using vertical bars to represent the frequencies. Another way of presenting data is by making a frequency polygon. Using the same group frequency distribution, construct a frequency polygon. To make a frequency polygon, we need the class mark of each class and its corresponding frequency. The class mark is just the midpoint of each class. Just add the lower limit and the upper limit, then divide it by 2. For example, 25 plus 27 is 52, divided by 2 is 26. Also add two more classes. One class is above the highest class interval, and the other one is below the lowest class interval. Note that these two classes have zero frequencies. Okay, let's draw a frequency polygon. 1. Draw a horizontal line and a vertical line. 2. Place evenly spaced marks. 3. Label the marks so that the scale is clear. 4. Give a name to the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. 5. Mark a dot above the class mark of each class at a height equal to the frequency of that class. For example, when the class mark is 11, the frequency is 0. Mark the dot at 11, 0. Next is 14, 3. 17, 11. 20, 14. 23, 7. 26, 5. 29, 0. 6. Join the consecutive dots with straight lines. This is the frequency polygon of the set of data representing the ages of 40 women when they each had their first boyfriend. A frequency polygon presents the data by using lines that connect points plotted for the frequencies at the class marks of the classes. Thanks for watching.